hi everybody one more time your friend here maria and today i'm bringing you guys with another video and this time it's a diy it's a floating teacup and this is the teacup that i'm going to be using for this diy look how cute this teacup um it's been with me for a long long time i hold this one at home goods and um I think I pay like around six dollars for it. I keep it with the ribbon and everything. It was in my um, uh, room um, where I got my room decor stuff by my makeup area, and um, it's been there for so long like this. And I was wondering what I can do with it so it will look like prettier. And I decided uh, why not. I see a lot of people are making these um, tea. Uh, cups like tea floating floating tea cups i would say and um they are like really really cute so i went today to dollar tree just to a quick run because i thought that i have um enough flowers for it and i didn't have flowers so i ended up buying two uh, bunches of flowers and the first ones i got is these white ones from their floral garden collection and i i don't know i love how every year their flowers um they get better and better seriously like the material on these ones are really really nice they're very nice um material on these and um they're very well made for being you know a dollar tree brand um i like them and i buy these ones in white ones and i get these other ones and look how cute is this this is so beautiful and i think Oh, uh, it came apart. Well, here it is. I think they will look like pretty, pretty good. Even though these are orchids, and the reason and I get I got this teacup with orchids is because my mom, rest in peace, she loves orchids, and she did have like an orchid collection, <laughs> kind of like she was taking care, and she loves flowers, so. I decided to do this and because it will match my uh, white and peachy pink and the, the colors that I got in my makeup area so this is why I get these let's go into the project okay for the project we're gonna need a hot glue gun of course the teacup with the um, tiny plate and we're gonna need the flowers and we also gonna need a fork like this. You can buy this at the Dollar Tree or you can have it in your house if you have any, a fork that you, I don't know, don't need anymore or it's not looking that good or anything. You can use this. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch the camera now so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing with this uh, project here because I think it will work a lot better, okay? Okay guys, here, oops, sorry. Here I am with these um, pieces that we're gonna need to create this uh, floating teacup. Um, let me see if I can move the camera a little bit better. Okay, maybe there. Okay, first thing we're gonna shape this fork so it will sit completely here in the plate and you're gonna make you know and then we're gonna put the teacup like that we're gonna be gluing this step by step okay so the first thing I want I'm gonna try to make the fork as flat as I can you know kind of okay right there so we're gonna get the glue gun and we're gonna put a lot of glue gun here in this fork and believe me guys you guys are gonna use a lot of glue gun because um you're gonna have this this is gonna carry the the teacup and you want to make it as strong and steady as it can be possible and you don't have to worry about because this will be covered with the um flowers so
lastly i think that be enough glue pretty much the whole bottom of the fork it's covered and you want to do this and you want to let it dry for you know a long time a few minutes i don't know however long it takes if you see that in, in some parts needs more glue just please go for it don't be afraid of putting more glue okay now that you guys have the a fork attached to the plate and it's getting dry it's almost there um we're gonna put the cup and for the cup what i did because the fork that i grabbed it was completely straight in this um top part sorry about my hand in the way but i want to show you guys how the um fork looks in the top um this was completely straight what i did is i grabbed a pair of and um and i bent a little bit just a tiny bit and if you all if you guys found one that is like vent in that area like here um it will be a lot better and now we are going to glue the cup like right there okay so oops let me move this chunk of um glue um, there you guys can see okay so it's moving I don't want them move because I want you guys to be able to see okay right there I want to start applying and and I'm gonna set up this is gonna be messy don't worry about it's okay it's no problem uh, being messy um, you can use this hot glue gun or you can use E6000 whatever you guys want to use to make these you guys can use it um, I like to use um, hot glue gun in case I'm not satisfied I can take everything apart and um, start all over again but we're gonna wait until that dry if you guys think it needs more glue in the side, just put more, don't worry. You don't gonna see none of that stuff. One is done, so we're gonna wait until these dry. Okay, as you guys can see, the um, cup is heavier than the little plate. So it's gonna tilt my, my vase it's gonna tilt so to stop this from tilting um, all you need to do is um, two half couple stones I don't know you guys maybe can find that in the outside of your house or in your yard I don't know or maybe you have some for crafting and as you guys can see that will help your plate to stay standing in a standing position so you guys can start um gluing the flowers but make sure you glue the um the stones down i have a third one here that i'm going to put it here so i can start gluing this one's down whoops it's moving um i don't know let me put um uh, you guys don't have to use, I don't know if I already mentioned, um, hot glue gun. If you guys want to use um, uh, E6000, um, e you guys are more than welcome to do that. Use E6000 for it. Um, like I said, I like to use the hot glue gun just in case... Um, I'm not satisfied and I need to take it apart or I want to change the flowers eventually. I don't know. I think a hot glue gun is more easy to remove. With the E6000, it's going to be like something very, very permanent. And I don't know. 
it's 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 individual um you know decision a anyone can make this whatever way they want i want to put a drop of um glue there in between the three rocks so they stay still and you guys can see and now it's standing i'm gonna move the camera sorry my hand i'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see right there okay i think if i lower my camera a little bit it will be much better i don't know okay you guys can see part of the cup and the plate now what we're gonna do is we have the flowers we're gonna separate and we're gonna take the flowers out of the stem um take some of the leaves too because we're probably gonna use some of the leaves um i'm gonna remove all these okay um <clears throat> now we got all the flowers separated from their stems and that's when we're gonna start gluing the flowers and i'm gonna gonna start with this one it's gonna be inside of the teacup and i'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you guys can see um we're gonna put hot glue back here okay oops and we're just gonna glue it like right in there you guys see that how it looks like it's coming down we're gonna cut this here that is hanging you can use a pair of scissors or okay and you guys see how it looks inside the flower okay i have some tiny flowers here that i got for another project that i was telling you guys too and i'm gonna get some of them not too many to use for this project too and, um, oh, let's get let's get that for now i'm gonna put it behind here okay so I want to use this white one now and the same thing we're going to put hot glue gone all over the bottom and we're going to attach it like that how it's looking how they're coming down I want to attach another one here okay so you keep measuring and you know working with the flowers to uh, put it put them in the place where you are more you know happy to see them kind of hold it there for a few minutes or a few seconds and until it stays on place okay <clears throat> I don't know maybe I want to put that one down there yeah I want to put that one in between the other two and we just want to get a tiny bit of glue we're gonna glue it right there mm. okay let me get another white one and this one we have to glue it on the um this part of the fork here like guys can look from the back and make sure that it's there and yes it is there so just hold it for a few seconds okay 
Okay. All right. And maybe we can stick in between, you know, right here. We can go far down, like push it in and put a, a set of leaves. One of these leaves that we just cut out from the, removed from the flower stem. And just be careful that you guys don't burn yourself. Because this can be like really, really hot. You want to get it all the way in. Right there. All right. And maybe we can put a tiny flower in there. In there. <clears throat> Let's put one of these tiny ones here right there you guys see pop of the color and now we're gonna glue this one we can glue into the plate like down here from this part I'm telling you guys today my hot glue gun is not cooperating with me but it will eventually okay I'm putting I put some of the glue right in there and we're gonna glue this one down here like in the side of the stone but all the stone and everything it's going to be covered let me start moving okay the camera a little bit I'm going to put another one in the side. <clears throat> you guys, excuse me because um, my nose is runny and I'm coughing a lot. I actually am um, having asthma and bronchitis for about a, almost a month. They switched antibiotics on me again because I'm not getting any better. But, okay, I will get better. I'm in the process. Be bear with me. I'm gonna grab a sip of water one second. Okay. Um now we're gonna get one of the big roses, the white ones. And we're gonna put it here in the middle of the rocks. Like like kind of in between the two white and pink ones okay and now i'm going to be using these little ones around it i'm going to put glue here we're going to stick the one there um, another one in here And another one here. Um. Oh my God, I'm out of focus. Sorry, guys. It's because I'm moving things. Um. I'm putting now the little ones around. How it looks okay now this one here this one here I'm gonna put it like in the middle in between these two like you're gonna push it really good <laughs> in there so it will stick to it and put some glue around and be careful that you guys don't burn yourself this is how I grab it and I will you know okay like right in there okay you guys see that and then we're gonna 
continue with these little ones and we're gonna finish real real soon um i need more of the little ones i got here i'm gonna take some more like maybe three or four more <clears throat> all righty put glue put glue on them you guys probably are okay i put another one here you see and now you don't see any of the stones and you don't see any of the um you know of the imperfection if you want it you can put one like right here like in between see that is maybe in a smaller size than this one or i think it looks nice like that i don't know if i put one there it will look like i don't know no i'm gonna leave it like this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it tiny in case already there you go right there and this is how the teacup comes out i think it looks really cute really gorgeous so i think this come out very very pretty um i hope you guys enjoy this type of video i know a lot of other people i'm sorry that i'm moving my camera but i want you guys to be able to see the arrangement um i know a lot of other people already made these uh floating um teacups but i know i have a lot of followers who loves my crafting and um loves what i what i'm doing and i hope you guys enjoy this and you know if you got it you don't have to buy a fancy cup like that that costs you a lot of money you can make this with a cup that you got in your house um you can spray paint the cup the color you want you can leave the color that you got in your house the color it is let's say you have a, a cup that you like and you think it's cute and you want to do something like that just go ahead and use it if you're not happy with the color um all you need to do is spray paint it i know a lot of people spray paint their their cups that they're going to use for these type of uh floating cups and and teacups i'm sorry and they do really really cute projects with them um I don't know I think come out very cute I'm very pleased with it if you guys like this video um, please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel please and I will bring you guys with more hauls or project or conversation uh, in the next video we don't know what's gonna be but right now we got this I hope you guys enjoy and put it in practice as you like it bye bye everyone and have a blessed day bye